What is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers? We are back out on the range and today I want you to reminisce with me about a time where there were real anti-fascists and they carried Garands. That's right, we're gonna be talking about the Second World War. You know, a, a sequel so terrible that it was almost as bad as The Last of Us 2. Now you've probably already seen the video that we did on the German machine guns of World War II. You guys really seem to like that. Since you guys seem to like that so much, we're actually back out on the range, this time not with machine guns, but German pistols of World War II. Let's get started. You ever wonder sometimes if your guns are thinking about you too? Well, while we sit here and try to wait out this rain before we put a bunch of priceless World War II handguns out in the elements, let's go ahead and talk about this week's sponsor. That, of course, being USCCA. Now, first-time gun owners are on the rise. Things are getting super crazy out there, and a lot of you are getting CCWs. So if you're going to be carrying a concealed handgun, I definitely recommend signing up with USCCA. USCCA exists to give law-abiding citizens like you the knowledge, training, and the legal protection that you need to protect your family when you need it the most. There's a lot of times you can get caught unprepared, kind of like filming a video a day late in the rain. An act of self-defense is not one of them, so I definitely recommend signing up with USCCA in the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Let's get back to the range. You know what, fuck this. I have an idea. Your Uber is here. So an even bigger flex than all the guns that we've got here today, I have a box of 9mm. So as I load this up, I'm going to talk a little bit about the gun that we're going to be shooting here first. So what I've got kind of sitting here on my lap is a Walder P38. Now these are some pretty rad looking guns. There's a couple of features I wanted to go over that are pretty neat. Before I do, let me unload that so I'm not a fucking idiot. So, showing clear, this is a hammered fired weapon, so you've got external hammer there. I do have a little bit of a chip here on the black polymer pistol grip. Uh, it should look more like that. So, whoops. Has a double action feature as well with a heavy, heavy fucking trigger. The magazine release is actually a lot like a Makarov. I think that's called just the European style of magazine release. It's right there on the base of the gun. You just pull that and it drops out. The barrel design on this is pretty rad. So if you can zoom in on this, the unlocking mechanism, uh, the barrel actually moves backward with the slide for the first little bit, unlock it, and then the slide moves on and when it goes backward into the battery, forward into the battery, it goes forward. So this weird geometry on the front of the gun here is actually part of the barrel. This is so whack. Uh, I'd never really taken a detailed look at this gun before we did this video, and uh, that, that really stood out as pretty, this is whack. All right, let's give this a go. Go pew. Aw, pew pew, motherfucker. Aw, pew pew. Goddamn. See, these always like to tilt down right off the bat. There you go. Handgun technology has come a long way. That's going to be a problem. This is so on brand. <laughs> so thankfully Mother Nature is starting to cooperate with us a little bit. Got a little bit more trigger time on the P38 and has determined that this has a completely garbo trigger, which is an all gun, not necessarily out of the ballpark. I do want to try to figure out if I can shoot this thing with the double action on it, just to see. God, this is like 40 fucking pounds. Well, let's give it a little bit more play time. Of 
course, I missed the last shot. All right, anyway, moving on to the Luger. Now, moving backward in time a little bit, but to something much more iconically World War II German, we have the PO8 Luger, uh, the magazine I am loading right now. It's kind of cool. A little reminiscent of the Makarov, although I will say this is done far better because it has a checkered button to draw down from instead of like a sharp little uh, tab of sheet metal like the Makarov that basically always splits your thumbnail. So both of these, of course, are chambered in 9mm, F to my wallet. So the P08 Luger, of course referring to 1908, uh, saw its first extensive military use in World War I, where it was notorious for getting dirt clogged in the action in the trenches as probably it's less than ideal if you're in a dirty environment it's ridiculously overcomplicated the ergonomics are completely and uh, I love it because it just looks really neat so the magazine release is much more conventional somehow uh, even though it was released earlier so it's got just a push button here and uh, your magazine has a nice little cool cut there that corresponds with the bottom of the magwell Charging handle is this weird knurled bit up here, so you pull back on it like this, let her go forward, and you're ready to commit a war crime. I'm a much bigger fan of those sights as well. It's really nifty because it almost reminds me of Mauser sights where it's just kind of that V blade and uh, they correspond, and somehow this is just, it's a way nicer pistol to shoot. Jesus, now I know why they like these. All right, now we're gonna shoot a can of tomato puree. I'd be lying if I told you I knew why. Au revoir, Shoshana. a lot of fun anyway guys I hope you liked the video if you guys want to see more historic weaponry and stuff like this on the channel we were actually thinking about going back to drive tanks and maybe doing like a Russian machine guns of World War II American machine guns of World War II I just really like World War II stuff it's pretty nifty and I know there's a lot of Germans in the comments that have really appreciated the uh, the uh, neutral political attention that we're drawing to a lot of the cool technology of the time but now comes the worst part of this entire video I have to go home and clean this. Anyways, guys, hope you had a good one. Please subscribe if you like this sort of thing. And remember, hashtag AKG Notification Squad is a thing. And I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. And the rain's coming back. Nice. Fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put his eyes to the top. What is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers? We are back out here for a range video and today I want you to put on uh, I, was, I was trying to think of a line as far as I don't know why I started with a line that I hadn't written yet Typically not a good idea since you like that so much today. We are back out on the range with something kind of special German machine fuck these I was gonna say machine pistols, but they're they're not This is why nobody liked you. Charging handle is this weird, weird, fuck me. That was a terrible jerk.